Okay, so starting the next Zelda game. Uh, it's the Minish Cap. I think the volume's okay. Let me know if it's not. If you're watching this later, thanks for clicking as always. Okay. Lonk. Either way. Let me can go a little louder. It seems to be capped the volume, so. Uh, a long time ago when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny pickery appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of Man of Sword and a golden something. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. Good morning, Master Smith. Good mo oh, goodness me, Princess Zelda. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Lank? The whole town is bustling for the annual Pickery Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Lank was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Lank, time to get up. Lank, time to get up. I think this is why I enjoyed this one a lot. It was just the visuals of it. Because, you know, I grew up with A Link to the Past and the NES one, so... It also feels great to play this with the Super Nintendo controller. Again, just, you know, not having to use the GBA player. As good as that thing is. Hey, Lank. Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you'd join her at the festival. Yeah, Lank, come on. Let's get go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making the sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it, and while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her, don't let anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying. We'll be perfectly safe. Come on, Lank, let's go check out the festival.
Oh, yeah, you know I'm doing that. Taking some pocket money. Like over here. Come on, Kari, let's go. Over here, come on, hurry up. Well, here we are, the town of Hyrule. Is that Beetle? Here we are, Lank. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. Welcome to the Pickery Festival. They say that every hundred years, the Pickery come to Hyrule. And this is the hundredth year to the day of the last time the Pickery were here. Uh, one thing I'm looking for real quick. It doesn't appear to be here. Maybe we'll get to it later, but like, speeding up the text. Anyway. Blank, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to... Oh, I wonder what's over there. Long, long ago, and then even longer before that, evil creatures appeared in the world of humans. They were powerful, frightening beasts, and they created such trouble. But then the Pickery came from the sky, bringing humans powerful magic. With the magic light force and the Pickery blade, the beasts were repelled. And the world of humans once more knew peace, thanks to the Pickery. So, as not to forget our gratitude, we hold this festival each year. Now remember, little ones, the Pickery only appear before good little children. If you only do bad deeds, you'll never get to see them, so be good. Come on, come all, try your luck and win an incredible prize. I guess there's no way to do it. Okay. Oh, hi, are you enjoying the festival? It's so much fun. I'm so happy to be here and my fresh fruits are just delicious. Buy some! Come on up, come on, come all, gather around and have a look-see. I'm having a huge sale on all, a manner of all delicious and festive vegetables. Day and night, he's going on and on about pickery this and pickery that. Doesn't he know they're nothing but a silly fairy tale to make kids behave? This is my first ever pickery festival, so where are all the pickery anyway? So, the Pickery are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that. Only once every hundred years does the mystic door open. This is the door that links the human world to the world of the Pickery. When this door opens, the Pickery can enter our world. And guess what? This marks the hundredth year since they last appeared here. I'm sure something wonderful is going to happen at this festival. I've never seen the Pickery before. Hey guy, have you ever seen the Pickery? I saw one just the other day. It wore a red cone shaped hat and it was really small. And it was standing inside my dad's shoe. I really saw it, I swear. Yep, and my uncle works at Nintendo. Say, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh wow, over there. You're the boy from Old Master Smith's place, right? I'm sure you would know this, but he's the best swordsmith Hyrule's ever seen. Every, every year I enter the tournament trying to win that sword of his. I haven't won yet, and maybe I never will, but the tournament was awesome. The winner this year was a new face. I've been wondering where he's from. He used some incredible techniques and won the whole tourney in record time. We have a winner! Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing. Wow, you get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? First, we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next, we have this magnificent gem. And finally, there's this teeny tiny shield. So which one would you like? Let me guess, the jewel? Oh, 
But this heartstone is very cute too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield is so adorable, I think I'll take it. What? My, why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heartstone? It's cute. Or, or this giant gem, it's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope, I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay. Here's your teeny tiny shield. Here, I want to give you a present. Doesn't this shield suit you perfectly, Lank? Nice. It is a little embarrassing, though. It's so tiny. Yep, just as I thought. You look great. Now, if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go, Lank. I don't know. There's something about Game Boy Advance games. They just have this charm to them. I've never seen the Pickery before. Hey, guy. Have you ever seen the Pickery? I saw one just... Oh, yeah. I never had one. I kind of wish I did, but, but, you know, I can still play the games these days. My sister and I came a long way to see the Pickery Festival. Is it true the festival's named after tiny people the size of my thumb? I want to see what they look like. Do you know where I can see them? People from all over the place come to Hyrule Town for the Pickery Festival. Come on, Lank, let's hurry to the castle. Oh. Ouch! That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying that a Deku scrub had been hassling all the passers-by. Lank, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had some way to defend ourselves against those nuts of his. Okay. Please forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and uh, ran away and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. I actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub, but that not hurt. Oh well. You won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. Just gonna go there. Oh, Lank, you brought the sword, did you? Then, as minister to the kingdom of Hyrule, I, Potho, accept this blade. You just came in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Lank, but I'd better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Since you're here, Lank, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Do you know about that sword, Lank? It is called the Pickery Blade, and it locks much evil away in that chest. The Pickery Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago the Pickery gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Let the award ceremony commence. Vati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. What does that name ring a bell? (laughs) 
Oh, wait. Isn't that from... Hang on. Just a sec. Hmm. Interesting. I thought it appeared in another game, but it didn't. Anyway. <laughs> to think things would go this well. The Pickery Blade and the Bound Chest spoken of in Hylian lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I'll relieve you of its contents now. <laughs> Do not interfere with me. As Victor, I have earned the right to approach the Pickery Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess who holds the power of light. That mysterious power is said to flow in the veins of every royal lady. In your family since that day when it was gifted to your people. If I leave you now, you'll only cause me trouble later. That will never do. To stone with you. <laughs> All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now to find out what power awaits me in this chest. Huh? Empty? There was nothing in there but those monsters? What is this? What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think I had to move. I was like, huh, he's not waking up. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. You've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. I didn't realize I, I had control again. Oh, Lank, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is as you have all heard. A man named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her into stone. If we had the sacred pickery blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Vati shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the pickery? The pickery? You mean those thumb-sized little imps from the fairy tales? Yes, the same. But the Pickery are nothing more... Oh, wait. But the Pickery are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Pickery who forged the Sacred Blade live deep within Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the Broken Blade and reforge the sword. What? What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No soldiers will not do. The Pickery do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Lank? If Lank has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Pickery should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take the sword with you alongside with the broken pickery blade. Okay. Okay. 
You got the smith's sword. It is a sharp blade made by your grandfather. Very well then. Send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once humans and Pickery shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and then L or R to open the map. A marked location of the forest for you. Good luck. And be careful. You got a map of Hyrule. You'll now never get lost. Well, that that was a lot smaller than I was expected. I played this before, but this was it was such a long time ago that my memories of it are gone. Much like um, when I played Oracle of Seasons and Ages. It's just that long ago. I'm counting on you, Lank. Only you can break Varty's curse and free Princess Zelda. I mean, it's one of those titles that I only played once, so... Ah, oh, this music. Doesn't look like I can go through these doors. It's nice to be back at, in a 2D Zelda. Interesting. Alright, let's head out. Alright, so all the way south and then east. I just remember the Game Boy Advance being something expensive and it was something that I wanted, but then, I guess, when I got a job, then the DS became a thing, so I was like, yeah. Kind of bypassed the GBA, even though there's, like, a lot of good games on it. It was, like, the era where they brought back Super Nintendo games. And then had, like, these ones that I always thought were cool. I saw it as, like, a portable Super Nintendo. And I always wanted one. Also, just, yeah, I think this may be the first one where Link actually makes sounds. Just in a 2D entry, I mean. Before that, it was like, not really sounds. So I gotta get used to that now. Minishwards lie far to the south here. If you get lost, check him out. Just want to make sure I'm headed the right way. cool if they remade Link's Awakening for the Game Boy Advance. I feel like looking at the UI up there, just having you know, certain buttons, would have made a lot of sense. I mean, they did end up remaking it later for the Switch, but there's a lot of games I feel like from the NES and Game Boy era would have been perfect to remake on the Game Boy Advance. 
Like, even the remake of the original Zelda would have been cool. Oh, okay, I can't swim. Here. Guess we just gotta find our way. Help! Help me! Oh, somebody! Won't somebody stop them? Ow! Ow! Help! Somebody! Can't anybody hear me? Okay. Well, that, <laughs> that was an easy piece of heart. Where did that come from? I gotta remember rolling is a quick way to go. Hey kid, you there! Hey, don't just stand there, do something. Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Ah, <laughs> oh, well done. That was close. Not that I could handle them, couldn't handle them myself. But that's besides the point. What in the world is a lone child doing di so deep in the woods? Ho oh, ho, I see. The Pickery, you say, and Vati? Vati's cursed someone? What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break his curse, eh? Well then, you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What? Is there something on my face? Quit staring, it's rude. Wait, wait, oh wait, I say. You walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've not noticed that I have no legs? Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Ah! It isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. There, now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See? There. Yes. Yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If you ever need my insight... Press select. I'll be happy to help. Ah, such a hopeless child. I just love how it's not really a hat. <laughs> Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Eh, who are the Minish? Ah, yes, silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Pickery, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that, 
At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. That's what I remember of the stump. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, just stand next to a portal and press up. But there is one thing you must know. Being Minish size is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless slumps to the Minish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Yeah. This was always cool. It appears we have found the Minish village. Pika Pikari. Arivi, Arivi, Pikari. Pikako, Pika, Ripiko. I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah, yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Probably like, uh, the, old, the Elder. Let's go look for someone that looks old. Picori, copy, pick copy. Okay, not you. I thought maybe the elder would. Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Fistari. I watch the Abbey as well as the Shrine to the North. You seem to be having trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a Jabber Knot, it will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the Barrel House just south of here. Okay, thanks. Barrel House. Ah, there. Okay, I think I, I went the wrong way. Let's just steal. Oh, lack! This must be the Jabinot Fistari told you about. Well, you'd better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the jab or not, now you can understand the language of the Minish. So, you've eaten the jab or not, and now you can understand us. 
The Elder said that humans can no longer use, see us as they could. It's amazing that you can see us. Okay, well now we can go see the Elder. You've heard of travelers who find a kinstone and get really lucky? Well, that's all thanks to items made by us Minish. You see, we thrive on making humans happy. It makes, it gives us energy. But we only do it in secret. Oh, you speak our language. It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but uh, we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Lank. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we need to reforge the broken pickery blade. Ah, yes, and you've come here now to have the blade reforged. If you want the blade reforged, you'll need the four elements. These are the crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Yeah, give me a map. I can mark where these elements can be found. This one conveniently here. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Bestari's Abbey. Speak of Astari, he will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution, evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you've found the earth element. We only give humans item in secret, they didn't give them the diminished sword. There was something... They mentioned the origin of the sword, but I forgot it already. I don't know. <laughs> or is that, like, just the plot hole? You wish to go to the shrine? Very well. This way. Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. Okay. I mean, maybe the sword was an exception. Or maybe that's just the state of things now. Maybe they just don't communicate with humans. So this would be the Deepwood Shrine the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey, hey, now, no reason to be afraid or anything. Uh, I'll be waiting right here. No, wait, what am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. To be fair, the lore in the game is quite dull, nothing's truly explained. Yeah, I mean, not to take anything away from Capcom, but this was a title that they gave to Capcom. And the Oracle of Ages and Seasons kind of had similar parts where the attention to detail wasn't as high as others, but... The game was still fun. Hmm. There's a locked door here, see if you can find the key to open it. What? I have the key. Why would you interrupt me when I have the key? Unless I just walked into it and didn't press A, that's probably why. Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it and pr uh, press R to grab it, and then... Yeah, okay. So I guess from this point onwards, we're gonna have tutorials. Oh, yeah. 
How come that didn't happen the first time? Or is it just... There we go. I took it too far back. <laughs> Get out of my way. Wow, look at the size of that barrel. Hmm. Ah, oh, right. How silly of me. It's not big, we're just small. The bosses in the game are well thought out. It's been a really long time since I've played it. So, like, I'm gonna have things come back to me. I've only played this game once. And that was, like, a very long time ago, so. I do remember I, I enjoyed this game quite a bit. It's just... Memories of what it was, they're almost gone. So this is as blind as you can get. Without being blind. Huh? Hey, be careful, my lad. The peril just moved. No, but we want it to move. It's the puzzle of this dungeon. What we need now is something to hold down the switch. <laughs> oh. I do this in every Zelda game. <laughs> I pick up the pot instead of moving it. Like this was the same in, in Seasons and Ages. There we go. Once you take hold of something with R, use yeah, yeah, yeah. This is extremely important, so I hope you take pains to remember it. Noted. So this is a game where there's heart pieces in dungeons, unlike Wind Waker. Oh, that's fine. Go back, go back. <laughs> go back. Um, there we go. Jeez. See, so if I take a pass, it's not going to let me do the... Wait, why is it not doing it? There we go. Weird.
Oh, thanks for the follow, Archie. Appreciate it. I had to look at that <laughs> for a minute. I was like, wait, am I overcomplicating this? I am. It's okay. yet. I thought for a sec it was going to give me Zora flippers already or something. Guess I'll have to come back to that. love the sound of the spam. Uh, I can't reach it here. Oh wait a second. There we go. The gust jar. Hold the button to draw things in and release to fire them out. Okay, okay. There's shells in this. Okay, well... Guess I'm gonna have to be on the lookout for that too, huh? <laughs> Two? Gust jar is satisfying. It's pretty cool. But I mean, for a first item, it's definitely different compared to what you usually get, which is like a boomerang or a bow or something like that. I'll take out that color and then... But the, I feel like the games that Capcom made... For Nintendo, they always had original items compared to the others that just kind of repeated old items. Oh, 
Too many shells? No such thing. Unless there's a unless there's a maximum amount I can hold, which yes, too many shells. But I don't think there is, right? It wouldn't be double digit. Yeah, I played Wind Waker before this, and that was a common problem. Was just I kept digging up treasure, and I didn't have a large enough wallet size, so like. I feel like I wasted, if I was to take a guess, like at least 6,000 in terms of rupees just like going nowhere because I don't have a wallet big enough to hold them. So I'm going to try not to make that mistake again here. You'd assume 999, yeah. Given that's just three digits, probably. But that's what I thought with Wind Waker, but Wind Waker was just 500. It's really only useful for 100% runs. Well, that's kind of what I'm going to do, I think. I'm trying to get through all the Zelda games before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, so, like, I don't have much time left. Now what? Unless we find... Dude, I, I figured it out. You <laughs> Like, I know how to... Interrupting me when I already have the solution. I mean, we'll see. At the very least, 100% on the heart containers. Crap. Like, I think I have to... I can spend about a week on this at most. Before I have to move on. Because I think Twilight Princess is a long one, and that's after this one, if I remember correctly. In terms of release order, not story order. to the final boss and gave up because you suck at mechanical boss fights. Oh, don't give up. You'll get there eventually. Take it from someone that, like, spent a decade to beat the original Zelda game. <laughs> You'll get there eventually. One way or another, it'll make sense. I couldn't find one of the, the castles and... I would play the game up until that point, and then I'd be like, alright, cool. That's as far as that's gonna get. And then one day I found the castle by accident. And finished the game, but it was like ten years later. have the key now. I need to get up there. I mean, there's gotta be a warp somewhere. Ok, 
Kata and Kata and beat Gothma, whatever it's called. Okay, if it's anything like a link to the past, Gothma, I can understand why. Again, I don't I don't really have that many memories of this game, so like When I get to it, I'll figure it out. I don't know, the last, the last fright from Oracle of Ages, that was tough. I can't imagine it being harder here. That was like... A three-phase fight, and then in the end you had to fight, like, this shadow of Ganon that hit like a truck. Oh, you mean Ocarina of Time? What, you're talking about Ocarina of Time? Did I miss that? Mm, okay. Just seeing if I missed anything here. I think I'm covered. Okay. Let me look at the map. Oh, top left here. Wait, not top left here. Central room, top left. I think I got it wrong, hang on. Oh, it's B2, lower floor. So I need to fall again. I went the wrong way. Breath of the Wild made you used to attack and weave fights. Ah. But you can grow out of that muscle memory. It takes a while. I see that this item is pretty cool. Just how it's designed and all the stuff it can do. For the first item, it's pretty unique. Oh. <laughs> okay. Further back. There we go. Hey, okay. Surprised there were two of them in this one area. Okay, now we have access to this.
Damn it. Thankfully, it doesn't punish you. It doesn't take your health away, which I guess is nice. Okay, I do vaguely recall that, and it's just gigantic. You love Legend of Zelda's item names like Big Key. Because <laughs> like, they're just so generic. Or they just describe what it is, pretty much. I mean, why complicate it? I'll say, hey, user, what's up? Yeah, I have vague memories of this. I don't know how to beat it, but I do remember this visually. Oh, I'm just- I'm just shrinking that. There we go, and then it loses balance. Worst ice smoking crack for 10 years. I thought that's you were describing how you were, because I was like, how's it going? And then you're like, oh, you know, worst ice smoking crack for 10 years. <laughs> what? But well, you're talking about the boss, quite clearly. I love the sword spam in this game. Let's say we're talking about the boss, yes, okay. Loving this three heart run. <laughs> I'm not doing that. However, for Breath of the Wild, I will do that. I mean, I won't do it. I'll, I'll follow the same rules I did the first time I played it, which was Master Mode, no armor. I'm not allowed to use the Korok stuff until I found all of them. And, uh, same with, I guess, the, the upgrades. It's like, there's one that you have to. But up until that point, I won't do it. I'll just be on three hearts like 90% of the time in that game. It's fine. One HP clutch, less than one HP. 0.75 HP. <laughs> you got the Earth Element. The power of the Earth is the source of all living things. The Earth Element is the embodiment of that power. Okay, don't, don't forget to get the heart, I'm not... Why is that a thing? Why are you allowed to leave? I mean, I, I think I know the answer is just to give you the option. But like... Don't be allowed to leave the dungeon without picking up the heart piece. Ah, we've got the earth element. Must go tell the elder at once. Yeah. This was a fun dungeon. You retrieved the earth element from that fiend infested shrine? Incredible. Humans are amazing creatures. The Elder is sure to be amazed, too. Oh, 
and you got to this part of the game, you remember thinking, oh crap, you've done a quarter of the game already. What? Because, what? Oh, because of the, uh, oh, right. Yeah. Was this the first Zelda game you've played? I don't know, that's like the... Act 1. So, you found the Earth Element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Cronell. There you will find a man named Malari. Among all the Minish, there is n one... None more able to repay your sword. I can't read right now. If you ask them, he will surely reforge the broken pickery blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. Link's Awakening for Game Boy. Does that? Oh, you can't leave without the heart. Can't do a three heart right. No, I guess that's the reason they do it. Great Elder, we are in your debt. We shall head for Mount Crenol at once. But like, you know, when I played Wind Waker, I accidentally stepped onto the platform and then I had to backtrack quite a bit to do it. And it was so easy to do that. Green clothes and a mystical hat? Sir. Would you by chance be Lank, the one who found the Earth Element? Sure you are, I have heard so many tales about you. I am Bilari, researcher of antiquities. I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. Bomb bag. It has ten bombs in it, now you can blow up lots of stuff. Okay. Oh, right. It's a puddle. You're going to name your character stupid? Why? Just so everyone refers to you as stupid? Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hey. Hmm? Whoa, it blew up? Hey kid, look at where that stone used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, that must be. Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest, but, hmm. We grant you the power of wind? So this was the order of twi well, games you played. Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess. You played Skyward Sword before Twilight Princess? That, that's odd. I've never heard that before, but okay. The OG one, then you went Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time, which you gave up, and then Minish. Interesting order. That must have been really strange to go from Skyward to Twilight that plays like completely different. No motion controls. Now, my first one was the uh, OG one. I, I more or less played them in order of release up until when... When was it? Major... Majora's. I didn't play Majora's Mask. And then after that, it was just... I don't think I can go any further here. Oh, the bombs. Duh. I was just thinking how do I get across this tiny, but I think I was getting ahead of myself. The Wii version has motion controls. That's true, but I guess I just assumed... In terms of playing the first Zelda game, you'd be referring to the Wii. Because, I mean... Yeah. Like, the remake hasn't been out for that long.
Wait. No, it's too far away. I need to go further back. Further stuck and go back. There we go. Hey, look at this kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? What? You don't know what a kinstone piece is? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Alright. Not a huge fan of the remakes and HD versions, just the money drain. Uh, I mean, I think the HD version of Skyward Sword, like, it was priced pretty expensive, but at the same time, it is a definitive way to play it just because they cut back on the dialogue that the sword gives you and I mean being able to play it without motion controls is a big deal and you know for game preservation it's a good thing as well because the Wii U was pretty much the only other way you could play the uh the original outside of a Wii Like, you want to talk about a good remaster? The Metroid Prime remaster is supposed to be really good, and I'm going to play that later. But that is supposed to be very excellent in how they did that. And it wasn't that expensive, either. It is freaking good. Yeah, I've, I've heard, like... In terms of remasters, it is a very good one, and they priced it fairly. You don't like Wind Waker HD, looks like clay almost. But I mean, uh, that's just the style of the game. So I've, I've played the original ones more or less the same. It's just, admittedly, the one critique I will say, yes, they went overboard with the bloom on it. Like, holy crap. It was to the point where that, that art on the wall had bloom. And I'm like, come on, really? It's art on the wall, it doesn't need to hurt my eyes. So, there are, there are things in that game that aren't ideal, but... You know, the speedy sale is so good. Like, I can't imagine what it would have been like playing that game. Having to change wind direction constantly to get anywhere. Like, it's a cool novelty, but after a while it would have gotten old. But that might just be because when I was trying to glide around the map, having to change wind direction was a bit of a chore compared to, like, being used to Breath of the Wild, where, uh, you could just do it. Lawn mowing in Zelda games feel so smooth. Oh yeah, if you're not lawn mowing as you're adventuring, you're not doing it right. Lawn mowing is just a way <laughs> so you end up with the correct amount of money when you need it. The name's Muto. I am head carpenter around these parts. The King of Hyrule has entrusted me with the town's reconstruction. This area standing in right now, it's a work zone. It's way too dangerous for a kid like you. Yeah, so that's just... So I can't go that way. Um... Okay, so it just it just says go to Hyrule. Okay, just curious. Mm. 
you've been criticizing Nintendo for this shit, like charging $60 for Joy-Cons, their DLC, and Smash Brothers and then their online service. Yeah, I mean, look, like, I've talked about this myself quite a bit. I'm not gonna go into it now, but for sure, like, I'll just sum it up. They make some of my favorite games of all times, but sometimes they do tend to do things that are a little on the scummy side. So, that's all. You know, I think the good thing with Metroid Prime is that it's pretty much got a universal acclaim. And I think that might be enough to encourage them to be like, oh no, this is the way we should do remasters going forward. Come one, come all, see how many kinstone pieces you can collect. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free kinstone bag for holding your kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for your free kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. You can now carry kinstone pieces with you. Press start to view its contents from your quest status screen. Nintendo knows they can make bank off it, so they don't care. Uh... To, to some degree. I think that there's truth to that, like, when you're talking about a large company, for sure. But they also do care about brand image, and part of their brand image is that the games they make are of, of, are of a certain quality. So, like, I guess I've, I've never had a Nintendo game where I'm like, oh no, this is, like, the absolute worst thing that I've ever touched, I want my money back. Like, I've had games that have been, yeah, they're okay, they're not great, but, you know, they're fine, they're whatever. Um, I think a case where that applies, and I know a lot of people are gonna disagree, but like, I think the Pokemon company is like, a case of where they know they'll make money no matter what, and they don't, they actually don't care. Um, and I mean, just look at the last Pokemon game, right? It's like, it was cool, it has, I've heard it's a lot of fun, but it is the most buggiest thing that, uh, they've released ever. It, was, it just felt broken. The streams that I watched on it, I don't think there was a single stream that I saw that didn't run into, like, either a technical issue, the game crashing, or them just coming across a, a funny bug. Would I accept a strange bag from an old man? Oh no, like, I was about to joke that, like, you know, much like a drug dealer, the first taste is free, so, like, there's an ulterior motive here. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. Okay. Let me, let me read that explanation again. Stand in front of them, press L. Then you can see the kinstone screen. Okay. Oh, that's straightforward. Two kinstone pieces fit together. Maybe something good will happen. I mean, there's an old saying where if you're not paying for something, more often than not, you're the product. <laughs> but, you know, this is in the context of an innocent game. Your Nintendo Switch headliners have been crap, Animal Crossing Horizons, Odyssey, Sword, Breath of the Wild, Dread was over okay, it doesn't make you want to play it really. Right, but but I guess that's 
kind of your opinion, I guess. Which you're entitled to, by the way. I accept that, but like, I'm saying it in the in this grand scheme of like, in general, right? Like, the, there's a certain average that these games receive in terms of what people think, yeah? So I guess what I'm saying, like, the consensus in the community for the for Nintendo games in general, it's very hard for one to be like, oh no, this is universally hated. Right? Like, it's, it's, it's such a rare occurrence for it to happen. So, I guess to, to that degree is like, in some regards they might not care because they know it sells well, but in another regard is they want to keep up that image where people will buy their games because they know that you can expect a certain quality of them. A perfect fit. That means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya. Okay. That was pretty easy. I can kind of understand Animal Crossing because when you compare it to New Leaf, which I've pl I played for the first time recently. I can understand why people who played New Leaf were like, hmm, this seems empty by comparison. I can understand that. Holder of the Sacred Powers, we grant you the power of wind. Again. No matter how many times I see that happen, I still it still rattles me. A kinstone piece. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. Okay, so I'll go see that. That minish that said, come see them. I wish you could fuse it with the cat. Oh, what result are you expecting exactly? Stone cat? Or maybe a coin with like the picture of a cat. I thought maybe there was something here. I mean, there is, but I just kind of thought. To this day, you still watch new videos of Secrets in Mario 64. That was the best Mario game ever. I. Alright. Now, before I say this, you gotta understand this about me. Mario 64 represented, like, probably for me. I think I haven't experienced, like, such wonder in a game since that. So, I'd been playing 2D games most of my life up until that point, and then I went to a shopping mall, and, you know, they were showing off the Nintendo 64, and I played Mario 64 for the first time. And it was the first proper 3D game that I played as well. And it just blew my mind, and it's something that I, I feel like I haven't felt that much of a technological leap since then, right? It's like... I can't... I can't describe that feeling I had when I played that game for the first time. And nothing's ever really come close to matching it. It's not to say things haven't been as amazing, it's just, you know, it's like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. However, there are things about Mario 64 that haven't aged well. Like the camera is one of the things that comes to mind. So, it, it is, it stands its place as, like, one of the most important games, I think, in gaming history, for a bunch of reasons. But, like, I don't know. Maybe this is just my opinion on it, but... I don't think I can do that. I think other games have, have done pretty well. Fusing kinstones with the cat would make the cat pettable. What? 
How? Did I miss the purpose of what kinstones do? Where is this minish that I'm looking for? Things like that, such as camera controls, don't bug you. Just learn to walk around them. It was all about the game. No, I, no, I get that. I guess I should have just walked in here, huh? Skyward Sword people complain about the controls, you just learned and moved on. I think the issue with Skyward Sword was just that, at that point, motion control fatigue had kicked in. So, the thing with the Wii was, when it first came out, like, it was... It was a novelty, right? It was like, oh wow, this is cool, this is new. And so, when games had motion controls, they put them in because it was like, it's the Wii. This is what the Wii does, right? So it was fine. But by the time Skyward Sword came out, it's like every game just had motion controls for the sake of having motion controls. Like things that could have been a simple button press and didn't really add much to the gaming experience um, were motion controls. Like, you know, having to use the pointer to use a menu, for example. Like that's one thing that used to irk me quite a bit. Or like, I love, Warrior Land Shake It, or the Shake Dimension, depending on where you are, right? I liked that game a lot. I thought it was really good. Um, because it was all hand-drawn and, you know, I, I love Warrior games in general. However, there were certain things in that game that just didn't need to be, that you needed to shake the controller. Like, everything was shake the controller. And so that was the problem with Skyward Sword, was like, at that point, People were just kind of tired of the gesture thing. And I guess they just wanted something more like Twilight Princess, where there were motion controls in it, but it wasn't, like, as full on. Um, it hasn't sprouted yet, but whenever it does, it's going to be a big sound. Let me just say that. I just find that a big old bean. But it hasn't sprouted yet when it does. It's going to be a big sucker. Wasn't this the one that said to come back when I had the... Choosing concerns with someone give you happy things. Petting cat is happy. Right. Okay, I see what you mean. I think Skyward Sword kind of has the same problems that Wind Waker does. Only it's in the sky. It's just like when you're navigating the sky, sometimes going from place to place, there's nothing really to do in between, really. So by the time you do get in, and like I know traveling from place to place does get a little bit fatiguing. Another kinstone piece. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find people throughout the world, huh? Alright, I guess let's just continue. I thought for sure that was the one that I needed to talk to, to... Talked about kinstones, but now I'm talking about a beanstalk, so I don't know. I'm sure we'll come across it later. They're not out of the way yet. Alright, I'm going to Hyrule Castle. Because that dude was in the way, unless that's all it meant. Just pop in Hyrule Castle to do the Kinstone thing. We'll see. Now that was a real centennial celebration. The festival was the best ever. The town is quiet enough, but past the gates there are monsters everywhere. 
You should visit Stockwell's shop and get outfitted before you go out there. Ah, yes, yes, welcome, welcome. Please feel free to browse. Um, wait, what's that? Put it back. What is this? Only 80 rupees for a wallet. It can hold the king's ransom in root. Okay, I'm definitely doing that, yes. <laughs> I am not having Wind Waker repeat itself. Much obliged, my good lad. Please do not hesitate to stop again. Yes. Okay, good. I've already I've already got the wallet. Doggo. I can't pet Doggo, though. Hey, what do you want? My sister's not here. She's at school. <laughs> I love the facial expression. This is my pot now. Hello, brothers. That's cool. Okay, they're all at school. <laughs> hmm. I thought for sure this was gonna move. Unless we need strength or something. No outfits really did annoy you in this game. Oh, you mean like no armor differences? Did you see the tournament? It was incredible. I was out of my seat and cheering before I knew it. Yeah, I'm so excited. I wish my man were that big and strong. I don't think Wind Waker had them either. Wind Waker just had the magic armor. And that was it. That's unfortunate. It's not open yet. We'll just have to come back later, won't we? I really want to play a game, but this place isn't open yet. I guess I just got here too early. Hey, hey, fresh fruit. Get your fresh fruit here. The door is shut. We can't open it from the other side. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Alright, nothing's open here. I guess it's too early. Hey, I want to see the pickery too. Can I, 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 can I? Hey, you want to know what I heard? I heard that only kids can see the pickery. Okay. Right, let's pop into the castle. Why not? We're working here, sorry, but we can't let you pass. Sorry. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind! That stone obelisk crumble, and there's another one of these masks. You know, no matter how many times I see it happen, it still rattles me. It's fast travel. Like, I kind of... Figured it. They think each other at, is at school. Oh, so they're they're not even at school. <laughs> it's just pretending. Okay. Well, if it isn't Lank, it is good to see you again. School is in session right now, so I'm afraid I can't let you in. Okay. Oh, it looks like they're having fun in there. I wish I could play with them. Oh, it's Snotty Kid. <laughs> Also, do you not go to school? Is is this is this like an era where there are just peasant children that can't afford to go to school, so they're just out here? That mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fishy about this room too. <clears throat> I am Hagen, mayor of this fair town. Mayors are unusual, oh, are usually very important and busy folk, I'll have you know. But I still have a hobby, of course. I collect unusual masks. I just love them. They're beautiful, simply magnificent, I tell you. Wait, what's he thinking of? That is weird. <laughs> Hmm. 
Finstone piece. Okay, I don't have a glove to pick that up. How can you be a peasant with two seconds of cutting grass gets you max rupees? Only if you have a sword. Maybe the kid doesn't have a sword. You want to fuse kinstones? Oh yes, please, please. Thought so. The two kinstones faces fit together. Maybe something good will happen. Oh, see, that's what I should have done with the minish. Sorry, I can go back. Uh, where is that? Oh, back at... Lon Lon Ranch. Okay, so it's like, back home. Oh, that's so pretty. A perfect fit. Now, I know we'll get lucky. Casual dungeon in his basement. Yeah, let's not ask questions about that. Let's not let's not ask questions about why there's there's a dungeon in his basement. I, I feel like we're not gonna like uh, what comes out of that conversation. I am the postman, crossing town at incredible speed to bring you your mail. Okay, there's no kinstone thing. Okay. I guess we leave here for now. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this throughout the entirety of it because this is the fastest way to travel. So this is your house. Well, it seems like a nice place. So where's my room? I just want to see if there's anything here before we go. No kinstone. Ah, oh, welcome back, Lank. But uh, my, you're looking so much stronger. If you get tired, go on ahead and take a nap upstairs in your room. I'm busy making swords for the guards. I wish I could do more, but for now, we'll need you to save Princess Zelda. If anything in games has taught you is not to trust mayors, or what about Animal Crossing? You're the mayor in Animal Crossing, so doesn't that mean not to trust yourself? I thought maybe the kinstone thing. Oh well. I mean, maybe I need to have the correct kinstone to do it. Okay. We'll be back later. Animal Crossing has some dark lore, doesn't it? I mean, it's... It's about getting into crippling debt, so I, I guess. We're gonna talk about, like, capitalism. <laughs> okay, it lies just west of Hyrule. Oh. Okay, I've been going the wrong way. I thought we had to go up. I'm basing that off, like, the traditional map where the mountains are east and up. But I guess not in this one. But every store is closed in town. Okay, there's a concern option. I guess I'm just going to be walking around to everyone, just spamming the button. <laughs> this is... 
Golden Snake? What? In Hyrule Castle Garden, but I can't go up there yet. Because the guards are blocking me. Or maybe not. No, maybe I'm fine. Animal Crossing is just Nintendo being furries. <laughs> nah. I mean, you know the real story behind Animal Crossing, right? Like, the reason it was developed was the creator was wanting to make something that uh, made you feel less lonely. It was, like, conceptually around moving to a new town and not knowing anyone. And, you know, just was inspired by coming home late and just wanting something to not feel lonely with. The story is pretty wholesome. Okay, so there's the main path. So I guess if I go west now, it should be fine. Why won't you let me go? Just because you have a sword in the shell doesn't mean I can't let you go out there alone. Oh, okay. We need to learn sword techniques. The Swiftblade school in the south end of town is really awesome. The teacher Swiftblade, wow, <laughs> has an amazingly direct teaching style. I wish I could train there. It's just... Doggo, why are you in the way? I come from a faraway land. You can tell by my clothing, can't you? Want to fuse kin stones? Sure, let's see how well they fit. I don't have it, unfortunately. I'll keep it in mind. Stamp, stamp, right to left. I came to check out a book, but they haven't... Yeah, no one's open. What a lazy town. It's clearly, it's like morning and nothing's open. Kill Doggo? What? Never. I'm not a monster. Unless we're, we're talking about Splunky 2, then sure. <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only game you'll see me... Murder a doggo, whether accidental or like on by choice on the sacrificial altar. Ah! I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? It's, uh, when I when I heard Swiftblade school, I wasn't expecting the person to be called Swiftblade either. You know, it's like, that's, that's like a very placeholder name. You may as well call them John Swordsman or something. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Next, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Very good. You are a very quick student, despite you not doing anything directly in front of me. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as... as what? <laughs> That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. I call this the swift blade switcheroo technique of training. Watch this. <laughs> switcheroo! Holy shit, this person's Captain Ginyu. Now you must try it yourself. Okay. I mean, I guess, like, this is for people that have never played a Zelda game before, so it's fine. Yes, fine work. You're a quick study. Now I give you this Tiger Scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You may view it any time from the quest status screen. Is anyone really going to forget that, honestly? This is the first sword technique you've learned from Master Swiftblade. Okay, so there's gonna be more. 
There are no more techniques I can teach you. Okay. Swift Blade sounds like they were named by the same people who called Boss Key Big Key. But at least that one, it's more understandable because it's just describing what it is, right? Like, I get that in the sense of a fantasy game, like, you know, you want to give it a fancy name. But it's more forgivable, whereas in this, this is a character, like, come on, really? Swift Blade? Is this character's name Legs? Like, uh, let's, let's, go, let's go with the naming convention. Hello, I am Legs the Postman. Crossing town at incredible speed, bringing you your mail. Alright. Uh, hello, my name is Beard. I came here out to check out a book, but they're not open yet. Haha. <laughs> well, age brings patience, Sonny. I can wait. Oh, hello, my name's Helmet. So you've learned the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but it may... Do you see what I mean? Like... <laughs> it's so much worse when it's just a character. Yeah, that's the one, but there are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. His name is Postman. <laughs> yeah. That's that's even worse than what I was saying. That's even worse than I was saying. At least mine has some flair to it, you know. I wonder how many people are going to get tired of me, like, <laughs> cutting grass and just taking out stones. You can blame Zelda 1 for this. This is what you have to do, is you have to break every rock, push every stone, bomb every wall, light every tree on fire. It's just, you have to do it, otherwise you will never finish Zelda 1. Imagine Link's name was Elf instead. Oh, we're already up to here, okay. What do you have for sale? Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by telling you something good. A friend of mine in a cave south of Trill Trillby Highlands has a handy tool. If you want to climb Mount Crenel, I suggest you go buy it from him. These names I'm not familiar with. is south of the highlands, so I guess we're going there. I will be checking all this. <laughs> Just once. Hey! Get off. Oh, there's something here. It's always been by it. They did say south, right? Like, I'm not imagining it. But 
then again, where do I go? Like, there is no south that I can get through. Royal Valley. Okay. Well, let's go have a look up here, I guess. We'll find them. Apparently they weren't blocking my way. There is a stump over there. Is there really nothing else here? Maybe I did just give up too, like, maybe I could pick up that rock. Pick it up! Oh, you can't pick it up. Oh, there goes the bomb. The puzzles in these games are painful. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, crap. There's a bomb here. Uh, yeah, about that. I don't have bombs now, because I, I... Uh... Is there a store open yet that I should go visit and buy bombs? I think there is. The one where I got the, uh, the wallet from. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's bakery. Hmm, doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples. I say, would you ask for me? Welcome, please bring whatever you'd like to buy to the register. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy them. fine. I just, there's a boomerang on sale now. Okay. Oh, I'll be back for that later. Oof. That's, that's expensive. Oh. Very expensive. Let's just make sure there's no accidents. Very expensive. Stream delay? It's mobile delay. Or, I would assume it's mobile delay. Or TV delay. The TV app for Twitch is not very good and has probably the worst delay out of all of them. This is what they were for referring to. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. Well, you can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees. What do you say? Sure. Which means now we can do water. Okay. I kind of figured it'd be the bottle. Just based on what was happening on that screen, it was like, yeah, I'm gonna water the plants. <laughs> Wi-Fi's trash on top of it. Oh, <laughs> sorry to hear that. Yeah. Fine. 
I'll be cleaning stuff up as I go. Wait, how have I already been playing this for two hours? What? <laughs> when did that happen? I just looked over and I'm like, oh, how long have I been streaming for? It's been two hours. Jeez. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by selling you bombs. Ten of them for thirty. Uh, no, I'm good. I don't have any money. That's so rude. <laughs> Get lost. They shoot a seed at me and then they have the gall to say that. Cutting grass is addicted. Don't blame myself. I know. You have to. You have to do the cutting of the grass. being stupid. Yeah, I'm being stupid. <laughs> Once you've pulled up the iron mask, these guys are- Why are you giving me advice when I clearly just defeated it? Oh no, you're, you're just as bad as Navi, aren't you? When I need advice, I will- I will talk to you, sir. <laughs> Shooty boys like the beetle in Skyward Sword. Oh yeah, no they are. Of course, how silly of me. Hey, my boy, jump into that vortex over there for me. I think I've got an idea. I'm just gonna... That was neat. Man, this just, this just makes me want to play more Game Boy Advance games. I, I missed out on this era. I always wanted one, but they were super expensive. And then by the time I got my job, it was like the Wii and the DS, so... There doesn't appear to be anything here. I'm not going to waste a bomb. Let's not waste a bomb. Even though every fiber of my being is like, no, go bomb that wall, there's something there. There's a secret there. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, that was a waste.
Uh, I'm going to guess that that puddle is what I should have done. So this perfectly normal looking stone was another portal to the Minish World. I suppose I would have remembered that if I had stopped thinking about it. Water is life for Crenel beans. The blue beans grow when you pour water on them, but the green beans like Crenel hot spring water. Crenel hot spring water can be found only in a spring on Mount Crenel. Well, really, the spring is closer to the base of the Mount Crenel. Crap. My kinstone piece. Yeah, that's a problem. There's gonna be a lot of back and forth here. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I don't wanna go anywhere. I just wanna walk across. There you go. Okay, uh, I like fun. I'll... I'll manage. I'm guessing I need the water here, which... Yeah, I, I poured it out already. I didn't know. I could have done this in one shot. Thanks for the raid, how's it going? Is that like the the answer? Don't know. Sleepy. Oh, fair enough. It is late for you. Or early. More early, yeah. Give heart, please. No heart. Okay. <sighs> Finally, things had gone differently here. Uh, I'm 
gonna hope that as long as I'm in the direction, it doesn't matter. Just... It didn't work. Oh, you can lift this. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. I see. I got ahead of myself. So now I gotta go back and get the water. Because I see what's gonna happen. Yeah, okay. So do we get superhuman strength when we become tiny? Because... Uh, uh, if you go by, like, relative size... How... how are we supposed to pick that up? Or do you keep your human strength? Game is being very stingy with the heart containers. <laughs> it's not giving me hearts. Hey, Laura, what's up? How's it going? Oh no, that's it. That's good. That worth <laughs> fifteen rupees. Still rather health, but okay, it's fine. Did I miss? I miss. Oh my god, I missed. <laughs> it's fine. Watching people suffer Mount Cronella's sole reason to live. Yeah, that's what we call Schadenfreude, or whatever the German word is, where you're like laughing at the misery of someone else. It generally comes from a place of you experiencing that misery, but can also be just in general. It's okay, I, I grew up on Zelda games, this is nothing. There's nothing wrong with a little back and forth. As long as it doesn't end up like that last heart piece in Wind Waker, I'm okay. What color are my eyes? Is that a question about me or the character? Me personally, uh, dark brown.
Okay, I'm standing directly in front of it. I can't miss. Wait, why doesn't that work? Or do I need the do I need special spring water? Oh um, <laughs> I thought that one would work. It doesn't work. Well, there's nothing else I can grab here. Unless there's more... T it looks like the path continues. Let me just keep going. If I'm reading that correctly, there's, like, more to do. No. Dead end here. Okay, let's look for other sources of green. Ah, ha ha ha. It's like Pokemon Dungeons. Nah, it's just like classic Zelda, 2D Zelda. It's just the gimmick in this game is you can turn tiny and get across obstacles by being tiny. This one was on the Game Boy Advance, so. If you're feeling a similar art style to it, that would be why. What's my name in this one? Uh, it's Lank. Like L A N K H. Kind of like how an American would pronounce Link. It's Lank. Sorry, Americans. <laughs> In advance. I need to go find a source of green water. I finished Wind Waker. I did, yeah. I couldn't let that one drag much longer. I'm on a timeline to get all these games done before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, so... I put in extra effort. Alright, there's something here. How's work the next day? It was fine. I can function on low sleep, it's just I can't function two days back to back on low sleep. No climbing, apparently. Get the duck hat's piss. Why? Because the hat is green. He's saying that the duck hat pisses green because it's green. I mean, shouldn't we piss our skin color then? <laughs> I'm not sure it works that way. Did I like it the game Wind Waker? Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. I did like the, uh, the tone of it, for sure, being, like, cartoony and slapstick. 
I think the sailing, kind of like Skyward Sword, just by the end of it, there was a bit of fatigue. There was a little bit of fatigue sailing around everywhere. And that there wasn't really much to do between uh, place to place, so... But, you know, that's, that's just how the game was, right? It's like a limitation of what was doable back then. But I mean, I enjoyed the story and the dungeons were fun. And the last fight was cool. You're so confused by that statement. What statement? <laughs> you can technically piss multiple different colors. No, but I guess what I'm saying is like the, the default color. Like, let's talk about ideal situation, right? Like, I'm saying the default color here. Because if that were the case, then the hat would also be able to pee different colors, right? But you would assume that the default... If you're saying collect the piss, then you would say that the default piss is, like, green. And if it came out a different color, it's like, oh yeah, that happens sometimes. Right? So all I'm saying is, like, if that were how things worked... Our default P color would be whatever our skin color is. How does the duck hat piss? It doesn't. <laughs> I just, it, it was a joke. I need to collect green water. Or water from like a, a green water source because it's like a specific fountain. I should have I should have bombed it like every my inner child was screaming go bomb this wall go bomb this wall go bomb this wall <laughs> And I was like nah I don't want to waste bombs cuz it costs 35 and you can't find them easily again I should have just come and bombed the wall On the bright side this is a source of water so I don't have to go all the way back I can't believe this is the takeaway here. <laughs> it's talking about what color a magical duck hat would be. What if he was also cursed to piss green? I, I suppose. But only, only green? <laughs> okay, the good news is now I can, I can experiment here. Should I just, I should have just, you know what? I should have just tried bombing here as well. I'm gonna try doing that as well. Oh, I drank a lot of cordial, yeah. Two. You know that word's not universal, so I'm just gonna have to explain it, but like, you know, just sugar, sugar drink. Colored sugar water. Drank a lot of colored sugar water, that's, that's cordial. <laughs> what flavor is it? It's like apple and kiwi right here. Green is apple and kiwi. Or at least the one I'm aware of is. No, what's green then? I'm, I'm all ears, what's green? Debating, well, I guess let's see if there's anything else around here to do. Does this really have nothing else here? Oh, no. Whoops. That's not good. Hang on. 
Good stuff. What? Oh, got pushed back immediately. So it's just a bridge, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. So it's just that. Why do I get the feeling? Oops. I'm just gonna have to look elsewhere. I can't bomb as many. How did I use a bomb? I don't know. I just used a bomb. You're not allowed to use a bomb as many? <laughs> I'm not playing a special version of this. This is like a Game Boy. It's a, it's a cartridge. It's an original copy of it. Lime is just... Lime? Just lime? Man, the flavor we got that was green was apple and kiwi. Lime's just so obvious. Let's try here. Okay, so cool. I'm just gonna have to blast holes everywhere by the way. I used my last bomb. Last two bombs. Because I'm an idiot and didn't swap items. Okay, well. Oh, <laughs> I need bombs again. Uh, is there a quick way I can resolve this other than going to buy them again? I got bombs from something. It was this cave over here, so hang on, I might try it again. Am I really gonna grind for bombs? Heading off, alright Laura, see ya. I mean, usually in Zelda games, when you need a particular item, they kind of make sure you have supply of it constantly. No, this was my bad. Like, I brought this upon myself. I had two bombs and then I wasted them. What is the point of that mushroom if <laughs> I can't go back? It would appear that things don't respawn here either until I leave the area completely. Give bombs, please. Nope. Okay. Well, this is certainly, uh, yeah, quite a way to open up the gameplay. Oh, wait a minute. I just, I just remembered something. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a sales person here that sells bombs or sales scrub. Scrub sales. S sales scrub? Before sword cat things drop bombs. Yeah, but in the interest of like not having to grind, I think I'll just just pay the tax. This was the tax for uh just not being smart <laughs> and accidentally using the bombs.
car. Okay, now this should work. Back. That was quick. Oh, you can't. That's not a map. Okay. Really? <laughs> really? have green. Duck, duck hat dance. <laughs> I, mean, I, I wouldn't drink anything that was like that fluoro green color. In nature that is. Standing right next to it. I'm not gonna risk. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, finally made it. Okay. Kennel wall, kennel mines. Why do I get the feeling I should go replenish this now? But maybe I should just be patient. That pool is where the duck hat goes to piss. <laughs> I mean, impressive if you can fill up that amount of volume. Just a guess. Oh, it didn't work. But this just goes... Oh. What's the point of that? Unless I did it wrong. Shouldn't that work? Doesn't work. Hmm. What else is here? Oh no. <laughs> Death. I hate these boulders. Every single Zelda game.
Apparently. Watch out for falling rocks, no kidding. Okay, well, there's not a whole lot else I can do, so let's point out suspicious spots. You know what? If I was to take a guess. <laughs> I mean, so far, everything has been something along these lines. Should have this clipped. Yep. Okay. I may as well. Falling meatballs. <laughs> I don't want to call them that. I don't want people to think I was weird, but yeah, that's what they are. At least they replenish my bombs. Okay. That's kind of... It's kind of unfair. There's probably something here. But I'm not gonna go for it just yet. Was I just was I just unlucky with the bombs? <laughs> Seems to be handing them out now. I must have been really unlucky. Where are the hearts at? Again. Again! Okay, well, I'll, I'll definitely keep this cave in mind. <laughs> okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. This fabulous grip ring is perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. 
Apply them in style for only 40. What a bargain. Yeah, th this is compulsory. Thanks a lot. There definitely seems to be a lot hidden behind, um... Caves that you can't see. But okay, now life is good. I can climb. For now. Oh, that's as far as it goes. Hmm. But I think now that I have this, I can climb this. Yep. There we go. Oh boy. I hate, I hate climbing. It always ends up as this. but still alive. Why is that there? Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Ah! Let me despawn these things. Ah, damn it. Ugh, I should have... I should have backed. Well, now it's going to put me, I don't know how far back. Oh, that's not too bad. Could be worse. Yeah, if there's one thing I've noticed about this game already is it doesn't seem to give you health. It seems to be very stingy on the health. It's okay. Just climb again. First up, first up. It happens. I'm not going for perfect or anything here. It's kind of a blessing in the skies because I didn't see this. Oh, you've got to be kidding. If this is any. Well, I can't throw them in, can I? Yes, I can. Welcome to the adventurous spring. Did you throw the golden bomb into the spring or was it a silver bomb? Neither. You are honest. I must reward such honest adventurer with some of my power. Yes. <laughs> now I got 30. Heal me, please. At least. Wow, no heal. What a rip. It's just regular water. Usually they heal you. Okay, 
Okay, but it looks like they're stopping points strategically. I was lucky. Yeah, so you know what? I died, sure, but like I got something out of it. So, it's fine. <laughs> that would have been useful earlier. Okay. Was this worth my time? Probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. I wanted to sell the Great Fairy Bath Order. I mean, I didn't want to make a joke out of it, but... You would think that it would heal. I don't know why I want to murder these things. This is, I guess, out of spite more than anything else. Alright. In we go. I'm the Krennel Hermit. I left the world to pursue a life of quiet reflection. You seem to be but a child, and yet you climb this forbidding mountain alone? I must reward your courage with a little information. Have you not seen a strange pattern walls as you climb this mountain? Bombs. Bombs are the answer. You want to fuse kinstones? There we go. Um, where is that? Okay, North Hyrule Field, got it. So, the answer to this is bombs. I've seen a few of these. I guess I have more bombs now, so I don't have to worry as much, but still. Wait, that's not it? What are they referring to? Oh no, this is just a summit. Yeah, that was never gonna work. mean by hang on let me read it again maybe i didn't get the gist of what they were saying have you not seen strange patterned walls as you climb this mountain but is isn't that the answer or did i did i miss Maybe... I think I just needed to do the slingshot better. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I know what I'm doing wrong. This gets you further. Aha! I've been using the wrong thing the whole time. Oh, this music, though. This is a throwback. Wait, what? The dude was trying to sell me? Because I climbed up? Nah.
Oh. These raindrops are like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out. If one of them hits us, it'll do more than a little damage. And yet we can pick, miraculously pick up a gigantic seed. Oh, it's just push. Okay. Yeah, just so there's no more accidents, let's just do that. Counting on this working. <laughs> okay, it does. I don't have to do that to them, but yeah, it is useful. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jeez, I was worried for a sec. <laughs> it's like, no. Oh, I did the wrong thing, didn't I? But this one didn't push down anyway, so it's like... Hmm. Well, I mean, I've messed it up, so go back. Gotta go for the night. Alright, Archie, no worries. Well, thanks for tuning in. Have a good rest of your evening. We are doomed to make the same mistake again, are we? But then, did I just n miss the point of this? I'm here again. Well, you can't push. Okay, what have I done wrong? Ah. Uh, and then this push across, hopefully. And this down, and this across. Okay, got it. Got it. So, I, th that was close. I just thought I messed it up when I hadn't. to the abyss. <laughs> uh, huh. Okay, well, first of all... Make our landing safe. Ugh, 
thank you. Needed that. That was quite the aggressive toss. <laughs> okay, there we go. I wasn't expecting it to get thrown that quickly. to check every stone. Otherwise it's gonna bother me. Probably a very specific way to do this. <laughs> oh. No, it's actually very straightforward. It's not specific at all. I was expecting more complexity than that. Ting along, tong along, dig along, for iron. Okay, same thing. Oh, uh, dig down, dig around, wait. Ting along, tong along, dig down, dig around, dig the ground for iron. This mine belongs to Malaria and us, his seven apprentices. Did you ting along, tong along all this long way to get your sword repaired? The boss is down on the lowest level. Oh yeah, I should be hitting L on all of them, just in case. No, okay, cool. Oh, this is like a seven dwarves thing. Jump around. That's a House of Pain reference. Ting tong tong along. Deep down, dig down, dig joy in the ground. Sir, you are shoving me. Rude.
you head outside from here, you can go see the mine, the human's dog. But the boss doesn't let anyone go in there without permission. Green clothes and an odd hat, sir. Might you be young Lank? I am Malari, Mastersmith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help break a curse. I'll be needing the old sword which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Picori blade. I love all this adventure with what with the rescuing and the princesses and such. I'd be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. It'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine, the human's dog. It's not far from here. Alright, let's get started. They'll be a while, Lank. Let's leave them to it and find that element. Well, you're going to the mine. If you talk to the boss, I won't stop you, but be careful. Good. I'm curious if I sh No, I shouldn't drop down there. I should not drop down there. That, that's, that's a terrible idea. But get this, obviously. The power of wind. This is going to be useful later. Hey, that stone obelisk crumble, and there's another one of these marks. You know, no matter how many times I see that, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Cave of Flames! Wow, it's hot in here. Come on. Let's not stand around wasting time. Find that element so we can get out of here. Alright. Can't sleep, is it hot? Okay, there's no way out of here. Oh. Oh, I see. I mean, that's fine. I'll just... You're hot, but it's not hot. You mean that in, like... What? <laughs> Just... Hang on. Haha, <laughs> it's the same. Dude, I, I figured it out. Stop, stop interrupting me. You're very hot, but it's only 22. Just hope you're not getting sick. I started this today, so we're up to the second dungeon. I am making a bit more of an effort to get through this a bit quicker than Wind Waker, though. I know that the handheld games are a bit shorter, so... back for that. Your dog keeps laying down on me. <laughs> that must not be great on trying to stay cool. Okay, that's... Oh, these are minecart tracks, that's why.
This must be what the humans who built this mine used to get around in here. Hmm, a oh, what? After all, don't explain to believe you're scared. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. Except just, like... Hitting the speed of sound. Sweet jumping jellyfish, that was awful. Hey kid, what are you smiling about? I knew it was madness to risk our lives in that rickety human contraption. From now on, let's just stick to our feet. Well, I mean, your feet. Yeah, I'm hoping to get through this game in the same week, so can move on to the next one, which is Twilight Princess, one of the longer ones, so we'll see how I go. Interesting, so there was a portal hidden away here, hmm? Whenever you want me to shrink you down, just hop and press R. Aren't we already tiny, though? So we're going even smaller? Now the size of a germ. Oh. Well, that's no good. Okay, let's have a look around. Ah, yeah. But now we have to be more careful. We'll keep that in mind. Too big, right? Yeah, I can't open it. But there is a way back here, so... I can't go downstairs. Too big. Uh, but okay, but like I can leap down? That seems a little inconsistent. That seems more of an extreme jump than going down the rung of a ladder. But sure. My, it looks really, really hot in that lava. Trust me, falling into that would be a bad idea. I'm sure you agree. Is this timed? Oh, crap. Okay, hang on. Ah, crap. <laughs> I pushed myself in. It closed again, didn't it? No, it's fine. Plug all these holes. No! 
doing it. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd get a reward for it. Okay. What? Oh no, I see. This is the fake. I just realized what I could have done to open this. I'm gonna do it again. further. Hmm. Is there not anything else I can do? Hang on. What about through here? Nope, that's a dead end. Another way forward from here? Guess not. Ah. I'll go back. I just figured there was more to do here. <laughs> Wait, what's this? I can't drop down. Deating Link? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just so exaggerated, it's great. I can't do anything while I'm on it. I thought maybe I might be able to control it, but I can't. Uh, 
heart pieces seem pretty straightforward so far. Bomb to tip it over. Uh, maybe. Or it could be that the dungeon's item is required. I think for now I'm going to assume the dungeon's item is required. doesn't work. I thought it did. It works on the other types. Yeah, I'm gonna... Come here. Yep. This seems so positioned. Got the cane of Pachi. This mythical rod, mystical rod has the power to flip things. <laughs> Use the charge up energy in holes and then flip them. Flip. Use the charge up energy in holes and then flip up on out of it. It's not what I was expecting it to do, but I'm, like I'm not surprised. Yeah, see? Okay. It doesn't use magic power, which is great. Why don't you take the can of party and fire it at that hole? I mean, you never know what might happen until you try it, right? Oh, not what I was expecting. Okay, hang on. Where does this take me? Dungeon entrance, okay. Convenient. I do like that it's not using magic power and it's just inherent that you can use this ability. That's good. Power makes me makes me laugh. It's so over the top, it's great. Oh. Oh no. I can't go through there like this. Completely blocks it, so I have to. Doesn't work. Thought it would. That is a little bit of a disappointment. Not gonna lie. I may have messed up already. I 
I can pull it out, right? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, this ability is amazing. No! Too close, I couldn't pick it up. That's not good. It's kind of stuck there now. What? Okay, look, it's fine, it's fine, just... It still technically works. Just was not an ideal <laughs> solution. Stop. I guess that's nice, it's just another way back, if I want it. I do appreciate these save points. Oh, that didn't work. I thought I could jump, just jump in there. Well. Nice hitbox. on this too. and just trust that it's not going to collapse on me. Okay. 
wonder what that's about. Why is this here? Oh. Yeah, but then... I, I guess it's just a cleaner way of doing this. I still have to go back. Wait a minute. No, see. I messed it up. I'm still gonna go for that, but it's just across here. That's straightforward. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? I probably should have healed. Oh no, there's my heal. Alright. This feels classic. It's a snail. I love the spam. That's so good. Oh, the lava's expanding. I just noticed that. Ow, 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 ow. So much for thinking this one will be a pushover. I did, I did a little bit of damage. Run in doubt, spam. Okay, got ya. <laughs> it's so good. Still not dead yet. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, that's second essence. You got the fire element. Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. Oh, that was hot. It was so hot I thought my fibers would catch fire. Ah, but it's over now. I suppose we should go back and speak to Malari. Oh no, we were normal size. Okay, that makes sense. I thought we were tiny, but no, we went back to normal. Wow, that was fast work, but not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the white sword. You got the white sword. Its beautiful white blade sparkles with light. You can put away your grandfather's sword now. Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. But, oh, the forest elder no doubt told you this part, but if you want to infuse the sword, you must go to the element sanctuary. The sanctuary is a strange realm trapped between two worlds. It is the bridge between the Minish world and the human world. The doorway to the sanctuary opens only once every hundred years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it. After all, you made short work of that human mind. Let me tell you about a shortcut you can use to get down from the mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance of the mine you just explored. Just follow that and you'll be down in no time. Good luck. No friendship thing. Okay. None of them have friendship, but now we have this blade. I guess just go back out the way I came, right? I mean, I was gonna go down this path anyway. Especially now there's a way up the mountain again. Is there anything that needed resolving here? I'm trying to remember. I don't think so. I guess let's just go down the mountain. I've been pretty thorough so far, so I can't really think of anything. I'm sure we'll get to open those doors soon enough. Alright, saving it. Activate sleep mode. Um, yeah, I think this is something else, but, uh, we're gonna leave it here. This is a good stopping point. 
and we'll pick this up again tomorrow. So, this was good. I'm enjoying this one so far. Like, I really did like Minish Cap when I played it the first time. Though, it's, uh, it's been a while, <laughs> as you may or may not have noticed. So we'll uh, pick this up again tomorrow. I do want to get this one done as quick as possible, as you know, we've got quite a few Zelda games to get through before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, so... I remember Minish Cap not being that long anyway, so we should be okay. Alright, uh, I'm gonna take a short two to five minute intermission chat. Uh, I need to move the HDMI cables around. But we're gonna do Metroid Prime Remastered when I return, so I just need just a little bit of time to set that up, but also to uh, get a refill on my bottle of water, so give me two to five minutes, yeah? Um, but yeah, as I said, more Minish Cap tomorrow. So, yeah. I'll be back shortly, but if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking and watching. And I uh, hope you're liking the playthrough so far. Alright, bye YouTube.